Welcome to CTV with Aaron Racine following a 4-2 win of Western Supermare. Aaron, what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, good. I think we started really well. Um, got back to sort of the old word where we controlled the game of the ball. Um, and then we sort of dipped off a little bit, I think, just conceding those goals. I think changed our mentality and, and our emotions again when we just sort of played to the scoreline rather than just playing the game. Um, but overall, generally really good, obviously 4-2. Um, obviously a bit gutted not to get that one extra goal, but yeah, so be it. Those two goals seemed to come out of nowhere in the first half. They were a little bit against the run of play, it felt, considering how much control we had. What would you put those two goals down to? Yeah, well, one of the first one was down to just... Um, <laughs> I spoke about in the analysis this week about how, or, or last week, how when we when we defend, we defend as a unit, as a team. So wherever the ball goes, we all go together. We don't leave gaps between ourselves. And I think that's where it went wrong in that first one. I think we left a gap between our midfield and our defence, and then obviously the cut back, obviously to the goal. And that's if we move together, I think we might nullify that goal or get to stop that goal. Uh, and then I think the second goal, just I think Joe will hold his hands up. Uh, I think he's tried to do the right thing. He's not let it bounce, which is a good thing. Uh, it's just a bit of a bad touch. Um, and obviously then they just scored from that one. So yeah, so not, not too too disheartening and not, not too too hard of things to work on. So that's good. Well, there are plenty of positives for performance as mentioning four goals, but the crazy thing is 104 goals, four goals today, and we're only one shot away from second place. I know, yeah, it's a bit gutting really, it's a bit gutting, but um yeah, I, I said I, even before the game, it wasn't a case of just trying to chase second, it wasn't a case of looking at anyone else. I know it's very cliche, but it, we had to just get a win today and secure third. That's what I wanted. Um, and then if luck was on your side, we, had, we would have got second, but obviously it wasn't. Um, but the, ma the main thing was just to, to win and keep that winning mentality. Winning mentality, keep that winning run, and that puts us into good stead in, in the rubbery play in the playoffs. Um, yeah, we couldn't be in a better run than six wins on the trial as we were just talking about. I mean, that's fantastic going forward to being in the playoffs. I mean, how would you get the team feeling going into next Sunday? I don't think they're feeling confident, um, and then obviously just making sure they're not too confident and too complacent, um, which I don't think they will be. They're obviously a good and honest bunch of group, uh, group of lads, so it's a case of just make sure we sort of channel that that confidence and make sure it's not too much. And then going into Sunday, how are you feeling going into it? I mean, with the team on pitch, is this sort of the squad you're looking to bring into this uh, I No, I wouldn't say that. No, not at all. We've got, we've got we're very lucky in terms of we've got a lot of strength and depth in the squad and we've got a lot of variety in players who can do different things at different times. So it'll be a case of just obviously getting some sessions in, looking at recoveries, looking at the opposition and see who we are or how we can exploit their weaknesses. And a little uh, word on the Player of the Year award, uh, Ollie Pearce getting the plaudits from Manager's Player of the Year. Can you just talk for Ollie? I mean, I think he goes without saying, but... Yeah, I think that's a given, isn't it? I think anyone who scores 40 goals in a season at National League South is going to going to pick up an award. Um, but yeah, I think he's obviously been a credit for the club since he's been here. He's been a great servant every year. He's, he seems to score goals and turn up, uh, turn up for the big games. So I think he deserves all the applause he's got today.